My name is Alexis McGill. I'm the principal author of a scoping review published in the April 2022 edition of JBI Synthesis. The scoping review title is the Functional Resonance Analysis Method as a Healthcare Research Methodology. This video abstract will provide an overview of the scoping review that I conducted with my co-authors, Dr. Doug Smith, Dr. Rose McCluskey, Dr. Brian Veitch, Patricia Morris, and Alex Goudreau. According to the method founder, Dr. Eric Holnagel, the functional resonance analysis method, also known as the FRAM, is a systemic, non-linear mapping approach used to examine and analyze complex processes and systems. Using a step-by-step -step method, the FRAM can produce a functional model of the everyday activities, interdependencies, and variabilities within a process or system, demonstrating how work is actually done and the complexity of that work, which may otherwise be invisible. The objective of this review was to examine and map the literature on the use of the FRAM in healthcare research. To achieve this, we sought to identify the key concepts and definitions used to describe the FRAM, identify the research questions, aims, and objectives used to study the FRAM, identify the methods used to operationalize the FRAM, identify the healthcare processes examined using the FRAM, and identify key findings from the papers. For the results, 31 papers were included in the final review and most provided a description or definition of the FRAM. Only two identified a specific research question. The remaining papers each identified an overall aim or objective in applying the FRAM, the most common being to understand a healthcare process. 11 different methods of data collection were identified, with interviews being the most common. 10 different healthcare processes were explored, with safety and risk identification being the most examined process. Key findings identified the FRAM as a mapping tool that can identify essential activities or functions of a process and how functions are interdependent or coupled. The FRAM was also able to identify the variability that can emerge within a process, the discrepancies between work as imagined and work as done, the resiliency that exists within a process, and the points of risk within a process. Most papers also developed FRAM models, which provided a visual rep visual representation of the complexity of a process. For limitations, a recognized limitation by users of the FRAM is the complexity and resource-intensive nature of the method. The time and resources required to become proficient in conducting a FRAM analysis at this time is uncertain, although three papers did provide the time required to complete a FRAM analysis ranging from 35 to 60 hours. What we know about the utility of the FRAM is based on the experiences of researchers and users of the FRAM at this time. First-hand experiences and ex perspectives of end users are largely absent. For implications for research, when presenting findings from investigations that use the FRAM, it must be done in a way that is understandable to end users, while also ensuring the process is truly captured and not overly simplified. The construction of a FRAM model benefits from the inclusion of a wide variety of stakeholders. When applicable, a FRAM analysis should also consider the experiences of the patient as well as those of their family members. In conclusion, the FRAM aims to use a systems approach to examine complex processes and systems, as evidenced by this review, and is suited for use within the healthcare domain. Interest in the FRAM is growing, with most of the included literature being published since 2017. The FRAM has the potential to provide comprehensive insight into how healthcare work is done and how that work can become more efficient, safer, and better supported. Thank you.